today here in Miami is another chance for the number three seed, Agnieszka Radvanska, to add a touch more weight to her so impressive resume. 18 victories and just three defeats tells the story of why the world ranked number two is one of the most informed players in 2016. And it was here in 2012 where she won the title here in Miami for the very first time. Oh, she's all at sea there. Slicing the ball out and out by a good distance. There's the first break. It's the unseeded Brendel who has it. 2-1, first set. Oh, she thought that ball was going out. Perhaps the wind just held it up there. Beautifully crafted and constructed point that was. You'd expect nothing else from Radvanska, really. Set that up with the T serve and didn't look back after it. There is the break, Radvanska now. Managed to dig deep into her reservoirs of belief and found that extra level. Three games in a row. After being a breakdown, she's four points away now from claiming this first set. And that sails out at the second attempt. Radvanska wraps up proceedings in this first set. A couple of breaks of serve, good enough to see her take it. Six games to three. Six games to three. That is a rally rich in quality. And it is a quality backhand up the line in the end from Brengel that sees her break back here in the second set. Well, again, she okay, finds herself on the front foot and in the forecourt and makes no mistake again for the second time. Advance got now set and 3 2. into the net from the racket of Brengel. It's Radvanska now, just beginning to run away with proceedings in this second set. 5-2 to the lead. Five it all ends on another big surf from the racket of the number three seed, Agnieszka Radvanska. And it is the eighth successive year that the Polish player has reached the fourth round here in Miami. And she had to sweat, she had to toil out there in the Miami heat. Well, an extra touch of match craft as well as polish was good enough to see her seal the deal here in straight sets 6-3, 6-2, Radvatska safely through into round four.